Hi, I'm Jennifer Shembury, Executive General Manager of Human Resources for the Australian Turf Club. We have over 2,000 employees working for us in a wide variety of areas, including tracks and gardens, racing officials, trades, IT, customer service and hospitality staff, event management, commercial, marketing, etc. It takes a lot of talented people to put on a great race day. Today you're going to be following some of our staff to see what actually happens behind the scenes on a race day. Well done, Tate. Well done. I'm on my way to check the rounds of all the venue service staff. It's not an easy job, but that takes a good three, four months to actually source and make it all come alive. Just mind if you take some flyers and you just start hitting some of the walkways up here. So welcome to Autumn Carnival at Royal Randwick. Okay, um, this is interesting. Ben's trying to FaceTime me and I don't want to FaceTime him. <laughs> so I will call him. <laughs> the preparation's actually been ongoing for today's My Fashions on the Field competition. It's probably been about a good three, four months in the planning. It's not an easy job. We've got to pick the colours, we've got to pick the furniture, we've got to pick the colour scheme as well. Um, there's also the AV side of things, and then it's all your contractors, your DJs, all the behind the scenes staff who um, make it happen really. And you've got run sheet staff, briefs, scripting, um, sourcing all the prizes is another big challenge as well. That takes a good three, four months to actually source and make it all come alive. challenges on race day are basically dealing with our contractors and suppliers and um, all our versatile staffing who we've got on board. So there's a lot of briefs, you've got a lot of people arriving all at the one time, there are a lot of people phone calling you about various things and to be honest lots of people think that they're the most important people in the world which is great and they usually are in that little element but it's trying to balance you know all the varying demands. about working at the Turf Club, it's such a unique environment. It's completely different to anywhere I've worked before. And the variety is so diverse. You could be one day organising a fashions on the field event, the next day I'm doing a barrier tour or a season launch. Um, it keeps you on your toes. It's, it challenges you, but in a good way, I think it's really good for your personal development. Well, on a race day, I look after all the customer service and venue service staff. Um, pretty much the first point of contact for all our customers on course, so all the ticket gates, front of our chairman's club, grand view, all the entry points you see for members areas or public areas. I look after cloak rooms. We have race book sellers on course during carnival, float car parking, horse stalls, the track tunnel course proper where the horses go out. Um, yeah, so we're here to put a smile on people's faces, greet everyone and make sure they have the best day possible. Race books for both bars. Oh, there's 
plenty of challenges that come across on a daily basis. Um, we've got to make sure every hour, every outlet has the perfect amount of race books. Um, we need to make sure we have enough race books for the race day. We don't want to run out. Um, we have a lot of members inquiries during the day. I'm on my way to check the rounds of all the venue service staff. Um, I'm going to start on the Chairman's Club balcony, make sure all the security are in order, our guys are doing the lift like usual, and then I'm going to head around to all the turnstiles, gates, and just make sure everything's running as smoothly as possible. I love the horse industry, I love putting a smile on people's face, we're here to, we're the first point of contact on the day, um, we're here to greet people, put a smile on their face and make sure their day goes to perfection, um, yeah I love everything about it. Ultimately it's about you know, producing a surface that everybody is happy with. I know that's sort of impossible to achieve given there's so many stakeholders and everyone has an opinion. But at the end of the day we sort of aim to prepare a track that is fair and even across with winners coming from the lead, off the pace, from behind. Careful there Barry! When we assess the tracks in the morning we come out to have a look at the length of it. Uh, that's the first thing we do is the length and the density. Uh, then I do a penetrometer, and a penetrometer is a machine really that uh, was designed to measure how hard or how soft or how compact the track is. I use that reading as a guide for me to uh, assess and rate the track with the stewards. Well done, Ty. That's it. Well done. Thank you. Well done. I generally look to, ha to see how the horses are walking, uh, looking at their shoes to see if their shoes are put in properly and just to look for any horses that's sweating up. If they do, we know they're sort of hot horses and they want to look out for uh, on their way to the barriers. Really, it's about looking at the horse's condition and their temperament and uh, trying to understand them uh, and find the best way to get them to the start safely. Well done, congratulations. Well, the thing I like the most about my job is the fact that I work outdoors. Uh, it's fantastic to be able to get away from the office, have a walk around the track and just get away from everything. Uh, I love that. I love working with animals, horses, uh, and also the, the diversity of people in the racing industry. So it's been a fantastic journey. I love what I do and I uh, wouldn't change it for the world.